I absolutely had to do a book review on this because it's just so good. The Serpent Moon book that it's such a good series. Um, I haven't read the full series, just like this book, and it's so good. Okay, so obviously there's romance. I would literally not be able to read it if there's not romance because there's no romance. But there's romance. It's slow, it takes forever to happen, but it's predictable and it happens. Nine page seeing like towards the end it's like in the end end but it's good it's really good um the plot is really good too i like it there's like a massive twist at the end obviously i'm not gonna spoil it but like there's a massive massive twist at the end and i like that because it gives formation for the second book and also leaves you on like a cliffhanger so it's like whoa you know like blows your mind and you're like oh my god like that's amazing and honestly it's really good like i like how they like remove some characters and add some characters and like i like the overall style it's written in but there's like a lot of cursing like every other page has an f-bomb on it almost so definitely be careful of that if you're like reading it and i was just like to be at least 13 when you're reading this book because i'm 13 but then i'm more of like a mature 13 year old because i'm in high school and as a 13 year old so i would definitely like make sure like you have that kind of maturity before you pick this book up because it's something and so there's all that and then i like how like the main characters they don't click it's like an enemies to lovers type of thing and i like that because it gives like the plot somewhere to go and the plot's like interesting but it's not because it's almost like predictable until you get to the end but you have to see the build up to get to the end for that massive plot twist so it's like it's definitely slow it's definitely like one of the slower books i've read and the thing is i don't know if i kept on reading because i knew that there was gonna be like a good twist at the end or like if i knew that like something's gonna happen like there's no way like i sensed a betrayal but the betrayal didn't happen at least not with the two characters that i was expecting it to happen with sure there was a clash but then it's like he i, I don't know if it's a spoiler or not so i'm not gonna say it but like it's definitely not the kind of like twist that i was expecting and i don't think anybody was expecting it when we read it because it was just like whoa because you sense like what happens in the plot and that happened right like I was expecting that one of the characters was going to die, and he dies. It's not like he doesn't die, but he comes back, and you're like, whoa. You know, so it's, like, definitely, like, very unexpected. So what you expect happens, and then all of a sudden, it's, like, a whole nother, like, what you never expect, like, a whole nother realm just opens, and I'm like, oh, my God. So I don't know if this is a really good book review. If you guys have, like, any feedback for book reviews, let me know, because I just kind of, like, rant about the book without giving any spoilers because i know spoilers can just suck some people are like i love the spoilers some people are like i hate the spoilers i'm like in between so yeah i would recommend it i gave this like a four out of five i think on goodreads it's good it's i the ending is just what like made it not three but yeah i definitely would recommend it it's good just you have to it's it's pg-13 it's definitely pg-13 probably a little bit more than that like probably like pg-15 if that's a thing but it's fine it's whatever it's amazing it's good it's good i would definitely recommend it